Greetings, this is Griff Ruby, the Nostalgic Catholic, with another Isaac Asimov short story review. Now, this story was first and only issued in this collection year, Isaac Asimov Gold. And this has a number of his late stories, most of which have not been gathered anywhere else, maybe even all of which. I, in fact, I don't think any of these are duplicates. And this one comes under the title of Battle Hymn on page 79. So there's really not much to it. It just says Battle Him, and it starts on page 79. Kind of hard to read the numbers, but that's what it is. So here's our problem. We want to do hyperspace experiments, but apparently they seem to be something that should be done on some lonely planet without too much of an atmosphere, without too heavy of a uh, gravity, with uh, enough substantialness. I'm not sure what that's good for. You know, and with enough people there to really support the experiment without, you know, without being too large of a population. But the Martian colony has the right to vote, and they can either vote in favor or they can vote against. And I guess they're afraid that the Martian colonists will not want to do it. There's this song going around that says, No, no, a thousand times no, you cannot buy my caress. No, no, a thousand times no, I'd rather die than say yes. As if, no, we're not going to allow this. So they come with the idea of coming up with a competing bit of music to throw into the mix. Sort of like stereo wars. We used to do that in college where, you know, I got my music and I turn it up so people can hear it. Somebody else who's got something else driven that they'd rather hear, they turn their stereo up. And I turn mine louder and they turn theirs louder until somebody or other's stereo doesn't go any higher or the speakers burn out, whatever. You know, and that's how you know who won. <laughs> sort of like Shades of Stereo Wars. So they decided to play the uh, French National Anthem. You know, dum -dum 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 you know, they even have the Allons de France de la Patrie, la Gloire de Glory et contre nous de la tyrannie, le tender sanglant Leslie. Okay, anyway. I'm not pronouncing my, my français horrible, but you get the idea. And um, is there anything in there that would kind of suggest maybe we should say yes to this vote? And that's the idea. And according to the story, apparently it works because, well, I won't spoil it. The answer is a rather stu stupid pun. I don't know, it seems to me it could be just a far more simple, more realistic appeal. These hyperspace experiments that could open up the ability to travel to other stars um, could mean jobs, possibility for human advancement, you know, prosperity. It could be a lot of good things, you see. And you say, oh, no, you don't want these things. Oh, we're not going to spend any uh, money in your part of the, you know, human kingdom or whatever it is. So you guess you just make do with whatever you're doing now, which probably isn't that much. And you can just be another boondock that uh, survives just barely. You know, and people end up wanting to go out of that into the big city somewhere else. Like, like so many boondocks today. Or you accept the money, you accept all this, and I don't know. Is there some risk that there, that populations, and I don't just mean those directly and personally involved in the hyperspace project, might be at some risk by having this experimentation going on somewhere on their planet? I, I don't know. Maybe uh, it's not clear that there is. You know, I mean, I guess you could be scared that there, you know, people are blowing a nuclear bomb testing on your planet. But if it's on the other side, you know, and you're talking a Mars-sized planet, you've never. You know, nobody felt the nuclear explosions except those that were within how many miles of them, you know, that took place. So, it seems to me that would have been a far more reasonable and logical appeal. But it's kind of a cute little irony. Imagine using, a, you know, a patriotic theme of sorts, the French national anthem anyway, to somehow achieve some kind of political response. 
Well, he seems to have taken an interest in physical. Well, that's all I had to say on that. Like I said, I'm not going to spoil the ending. It kind of ends in, like I said, fun. And not one of his stronger ones. So, that's all I have to say on that one. Thanks for listening.